I would take the derivative of the first variable, so x squared, and then I would take the derivative of tangent of 3x squared minus x, and tangent of 3x squared minus x would need to be the chain rule. Great. Once their functions get more complicated, they're going to need to know like, when people sweat. Yeah. So how... That was cute, though. Oh, good question. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so PAL is a peer-assisted learning program. Um, and basically the idea is that students oftentimes need help outside of class, outside of lecture. Um, and sometimes the best way to do that is through peer support. Courses themselves are very tough. I mean, calculus is a very tough subject. They meet four days a week. It's very demanding as far as the, the amount of material that we cover. Um, and the reason I think the PAL workshops work well is it's a different dynamic. PALS to me is one of the few reasons I'm still at Sac State. They were a huge opportunity for me after a couple rough semesters where I heard that I was going into difficult courses. I showed up and found that it was uh, dedicated to just spending more time with material and learning the things I didn't know I was worried for um, during the semester. Across the country there's a catastrophic loss in STEM. It's two-thirds of the students who start in STEM leave and do not graduate in those fields and we have a national need for STEM graduates. So this is a very functional way in which we can try to increase the number of students who graduate successfully in those fields. We help them out at the beginning, and then they can help themselves, but we just need to sort of give them a little bit of a leg up. And what better well, way to do that than to use students who figured it out? So yeah. this is the, yeah. out, the first function, what's the second function? X plus, plus X. Yeah. X over 